Hey guys, and welcome back. Hey friends. So with the holidays coming up right around the corner here, we've been thinking about gift ideas. And while thinking about this, we've come to realize that getting a gift for an RVer isn't always the easiest thing to do. So living in an RV and traveling in an RV, usually you're going to be pretty limited in space. So we've kind of narrowed it down to things that A, will be easy to pack and B, might not be something you've considered before. So I think we've got a good little list here to share with you today. So we put together a list of our top 10 gift ideas for the RVers and campers near your life. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to include in the list here is our love seat expanding folding chair. You've probably seen us use it quite a bit in our vlogs, but it's just so nice to only have to pack one chair if you're ever going for a little walk to the river or something. You never have to worry too. And it's also nice that you can kind of have a bit more close proximity to your loved one or person you're traveling and camping with. And we've gotten a lot of great use out of ours personally. It's such a unique thing as well. It's not mm. something that you see everyone has. It's like a love seat That's camping true. chair, but also it makes for really good pictures as well. I don't know, it's just so unique and so fun and mm -hmm. cute. I don't think we've ever seen another one on the road besides ours while we've been traveling. No. Cool. So that's our first one. So next on the list is a camping log book. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we've never really thought of before. Um, probably because all of our campsites and memories are logged in our videos. So if we ever need to refer back to what we did and where we stayed, you can just look at our videos. But if you don't have videos to look back on, a camping log book is a really good idea. So the log books are really good to write down things about your campground or camping spot that you might not remember in the future. So things like your campsite number or any campsite numbers that you liked, mm -hmm. those are really good ideas. If you walk around the campground and you see a campsite that you like, write down the number. It's also really good to write down things that you did in the area um, and things that you'd like to do again, or maybe things that you didn't get to do in the area that you'd like to do next time. And you can also print out pictures and include pictures of the area and really good for boondocking spots as well because you can write down like the coordinates of where you actually stay or maybe road names and how to get there. You can include everything in these things and it's a really good idea to remember some stuff about the campground. Yeah, and then you can organize it too, of course. You can have different ones for each province or state you live in or you travel to. And then if you're ever going back to that place again, you can bust out your book look through it and it's all organized and ready for you next time so you only have to plan once at least that way and you're always advancing going forward. We should mention too that in the description box down below we have a link to all of the gift ideas that we're talking about today. Um, it's an Amazon link so everything yeah. can be purchased on Amazon if you like. It's a very convenient way to do your Christmas shopping. And also worth mentioning, if you want to support the channel and help us out in any way, if you click that link down below, it'll take you to our Amazon page where it shows all the items we talked about. We also have some of our camera equipment and stuff. But even if you don't want to buy any of that stuff and you're just one of our regular viewers, if you click that link and then buy anything on Amazon, it basically gives a referral to Amazon saying Luke and Alicia were the ones that sent you to Amazon. So it'll cost you nothing extra, but Amazon will give us a small referral fee kind of helping us out as well. So. Even if you're just looking for Christmas ideas or going to buy anything on Amazon, feel free to click that little link below and it'll help us out, give us a bit of referral and it makes it all easy. And that link is actually included in all of our video descriptions <laughs> on every one of our videos. So if you ever feel like helping us out, just go ahead and click that link and then buy your Amazon products. Thanks guys. Another really cool thing that we've gotten some great feedback from you knowing some of you have really enjoyed seeing it, but it's our portable butane cooktop. We have a barbecue we can plug into our RV's propane, but sometimes when you're camping, it's just so convenient being able to actually take out a small little cooktop. The one we have comes in a nice little handheld case and everything. It was cheap. You can buy interchangeable little butane canisters that you can put into it. You never have to actually go into like fill up your propane and worry about it. You just buy a pack of the little butane canisters. And honestly, it's so easy for cooking outside. Then your RV is not getting smoked up if you're doing some morning bacon. You don't have to heat it up and get any of that humidity in your RV. And it's just nice to be able to be outside and enjoy your campsite. So we find that great for RV cooking slash camping cooking at least. So the next thing that I have um, is something that I came across that I thought was super cute are these RV kitchen towels. Sometimes it's hard when you're giving a gift to an RVer or a camper because you know that they're limited on space and you don't want to provide them anything that's just like extra clutter. But these kitchen towels are something that 
the person will actually use so it won't become clutter and they're super super cute they have these cute little sayings on them and there's a bunch of different varieties that you can find online and in stores probably too um, you could even get them personalized with their name on them it's a really good idea i think for a cute RVers gift yeah they're pretty cute this next one i find super cool we've never actually included it in the vlogs before i don't think but it's a portable jump start pack we actually even had to use it once on our trip across Canada, right when we were getting back into BC. We were out in a kind of rural boondocking site, calling a tow truck would have been far away, and I don't even know if we had cell service there. But there's these little booster boxes, you can either get small ones that just hold battery charge, or you can get bigger ones, like we have that actually have a built-in little air compressor into it as well, so you can also fill up your tires. But basically the booster box itself, you can charge it up off your RV, maybe when you're plugged into a campsite with power, or just charge it at home. We've never even had to worry about charging ours, ours just holds the charge the whole time, but say your truck battery dies, which if you're camping for a few nights and you don't realize something has a slow drain, I mean battery is a big part of RVing, and you don't want to be stuck out in the forest without it, so if your truck dies, all you have to do is pull it out, clamp on the clamps to your battery like a regular jump start, and turn the switch on, and your truck should start up. Then you don't have to call a tow truck. So not only is it super useful, it's pretty affordable and honestly, if you use it even one time, it'll pay for itself in saving a tow truck fee, let alone all the hassle of waiting for a tow truck and going through all that or finding someone to boost you. So if you're planning on traveling a lot, maybe being in a bit more rural areas or boondocking, I definitely recommend the portable booster box at least. So this next gift idea is something that I also thought was a super cute gift idea, is a scratch off travel map. So you can get maps of Canada, the United States, or actually the whole entire world and scratch off the different areas that you've been to and then have that on display in your RV or in your home. And it's a really fun way to kind of show where you've been and track where you've been, but also it's a good conversation starter. And I think it's also a really good piece of decor as well. So I think that's a really cute idea too. Yeah, it's a nice little personal touch. No matter who you give it to, everyone's gonna have a unique travel plan, but mm -hmm. It's a nice showpiece that way. Next on the list that we love is our portable propane fire pit. So you can choose to actually put a little T-valve onto your RV propane tank so you can hook it up right to your RV propane tank. Otherwise you can just buy one of the big portable white ones as well. But that allows you to just run your little portable propane fire pit no matter which campsite you're at. They're super convenient and easy to use. You're able to use them during fire bans. So even if a fire ban's on, you can still have a nice little fire pit at nighttime. Also using propane, you don't have to pay for all the firewood you might normally be buying at parks, which will add up to a lot more than propane. You don't have to split firewood, even if you love it. And you don't have to smell like smoke, which is super nice. I know a lot of people out there who have more breathing issues and that kind of stuff enjoy them as well, but not always being in that smoke blowing at you in the wind. It's just a nice way to have a warm fire you can be around without having to kind of have the smoky campfire feel and tracking that into your RV as well of course to making your RV smell like campfires half the time so those can be super great as well. So yeah like we said you can actually use the propane fire pits during fire bans but also there's some campgrounds where they don't let you have an actual fire. Um, I know at Banff we didn't have a fire ring and we weren't allowed to have a fire in our campsite but we were allowed to use our propane fire pit so yeah. It's a really good option. So next up is one of my favorite gifts that I received as an RVer, I think, <laughs> is our pie iron. So these are really cool. You can make little pie iron sandwiches over the fire or actually even over your propane fire if you wanted. My favorite thing to do with them is to put some peanut butter and chocolate and bananas inside. You just have two pieces of bread, make a little sandwich, put them in the pie iron, then cook them over the fire. They are so melty, so yummy. It's a really good gift idea for the camper RVer in your life. And you can also make them savory as well. You can make little pizza pockets yeah. or grilled cheese or other types of dessert. You can put like pie filling inside. Such a good gift idea. I would recommend this for sure. Yeah, we usually use ours for dessert over a campfire after like hot dogs or something, but if all you do with campfires is have hot dogs on them, it's a nice alternative like Alicia mentioned. You could put some marinara sauce on the bread and add some pizza toppings and make a little calzone and clamp it up. It gives you a whole lot more options to cook around the campfire than just doing hot dogs every day at least. <laughs> it's easy and fun, so it's really, it's a good gift for anyone. Yeah. We also thought an axe could be a great gift for a camper you may know out there. Obviously, probably everyone more or less has access to an axe or goes camping with an axe, but 
I feel like an axe is one of those things where once you get one, you usually keep it for more or less can be a lifetime. So we've seen lots of worn axes. We had an old worn axe at one point, but getting a nice new axe looks nice around the campsite. It's sharp. A lot of the modern ones are actually lighter, but more efficient at chopping, better impact absorption for you, but it's also safer. You think if you have an older axe, you keep sharpening, when buying a new one, you can just slice through all the wood that way. Cuts the wood nice, looks nice, and it could just be a nice gift for someone who's due for an update on an axe you know out there because I know there's some old axes kicking around the campsites. <laughs> and they're gonna last forever. It's yeah. a really good lifetime kind of gift for somebody. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And speaking of cutting wood, if you have an RVer or camper in your life that loves to cut wood, aka Luke, <laughs> you may want to think about a whittling knife or a whittling set. So this is something that I got for Luke last year, and I think he really liked it. He really enjoys making fires, cutting wood, carving wood, so I figured a whittling knife would be a good addition to his camping life. Yeah, unfortunately I forgot it on our BC trip this year, so that was a bit rough for all the main camping months we did, but it's just another little activity you can do sitting around your campsite and enjoy the outdoors. If you're already working with firewood and all that kind of stuff, it just gives you one more thing that you can kind of enjoy and get that wholesome camping experience in at least. Alright, so that is it for our list of top 10 gift ideas for RVers and campers in your life. If you have any good gift ideas that we didn't mention, leave it in the comments down below and it'll be a good resource for people scrolling through the comments to get other ideas as well. And even us maybe. Mm -hmm. So I know we had said last video that we had planned on doing another little RV rental experience with Fraser Way RV. So sorry that's not here right now. We actually had a really cool plan lined up with Fraser Way. We were all set for the weekend, booked out and everything with them. And then, unfortunately, travel restrictions came into place again. So we're here right now making our best in Salmon Arm, but we still have plans with them in the future, hopefully once the travel restrictions do eventually lift, to still try out more RVs, but it'll just be a bit more in the future, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunate, but what can you do? Yep. Otherwise, everything is going really well for us. Um, just to give you a quick update, um, pregnancy is going really well for me. We went recently for a 20 week ultrasound and we're still waiting for the actual results on that, but everything looked great. We're so happy and healthy and yeah. Going good. But anyways, that's going to conclude our RV slash camping gift ideas for you all out there. Hopefully you found some inspiration from this maybe, or maybe you'll leave a comment down below and you'll even give us a good idea for something for each other with Christmas approaching, but I think we covered a good wide array of essentials at least there. So give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Take care, everyone.